yeah. Sneaky Linux is back in the house. Give it that first. We're back with Manjaro Linux. KDE version 1512. Gabella. 64-bit, by the way. This is the first screen you get once you've installed the system. Yeah, it's quite all right, isn't it? Very, very smooth. Every KDE one I look at is always completely different, even though it's always KDE. I know, I know. This is apparently Plasma. Yeah, okay. I've never been a big fan of KDE. Others, I know some of my friends... They rave and they think it's so fantastic. It's just not for me. I'm, maybe I'm just an old git. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, on your boot up screen, first time you will get this. It shows you where to get your readme's, your release info. Bloody, 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 blah. So I go to release info. I could do, couldn't I? Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can read it to yourself. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that. Now this is gonna be a real short walkthrough. Uh, next week, probably, I'll do a bit more into it. You know, a bit more. I don't know. I'll see how we go on the video front. That's how much time I've got. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, so as you can see, Octopi tells me I've got lots of updates to do. Now, I'd look earlier. There's 1.2 gig of updates. Yeah, 1.2 gig. So I'm not going to do them right at this minute, if you know what I mean. Anyway, what we've got up here? Have a look. It's KDE. Add your widgets. Activities. Lock your widgets. Desktop settings. Lock screen and leave. Little hunky dory. I've done some KDE stuff before and show you the widget, so I'm not going to do that now. But if this is plasma and it's not flat, it's very, very flat, it's, it's actually quite aesthetically pleasing, I was going to say. Yeah, very good. Anyway, as you can see down here, we've got time, your internet, volume, Octopi, which is your update manager installer. Up here, we've got Manjaro settings manager. Should we open them up and see what happens? Oh, you have to do that. Oh, don't you have to do that? Okay, no, I won't do that. We'll do it in a minute. It proves I don't know much about KDE. Uh, uh, uh. Two desktops, nothing jubbly. There's nothing that's all USB ish, so that won't be showing anything at all. Over this side, we have Firefox as our web browser, Dolphin as our file manager, and Show desktops, and the application launcher or menu. So, application launcher. So, as I said before, web browser, file manager, IRC client, which is conversation, because we KDE. LibreOffice Writer, so many maps, we'll see what the version is. Now, I was waiting for LibreOffice 5 to come up there, and it didn't, okay. Okay, I can't help, see what we've got. About LibreOffice, let's have a look. It's version 4472, the Arch build, okay, fair enough. There is a newer version, I think, but hey, obviously, if I update and when I update the system, that will come to do what we got to do, okay. Well, one I was interested in, one of the things I'm going to show you today, okay. It's Katana. So it's Kanata. That's better. It's, for it's actually a music player. So you can use a multi-user in a server situation or basic user. So I'm going to go for basic user. Okay. Then we'll go next. Yeah, music should be in there. Well, there's no in there at the moment. Do you want to save your download covers at RC Music? Yeah, sounds good to me. It looks really, actually it's really nice, actually. They've not even got to it yet. It's now configured. What does it look like? Well, it looks like quite a few others that are around. Yeah, but hey, as long as it does what it's supposed to do. What have we got here? Span interface, full screen, menu bar, configure. Nice, nice. You know, it looks quite nice. I might give that a go a bit later when I've got a bit more time. Yeah, I like that. No, I do, really. Hmm. Add a remove your software, Octopi again. Actually, you can still use the terminal commands if you want to. You can use the Arch user repositories as well if you so wish to do so. We'll go to system settings now. I found it. Okay, we'll make that a little bit larger so we can see what we're doing. Obviously, here we've got the hardware detection. You can change your kernels. That's the bit I like about Manjaro. It's really nice. Keyboard, all the usual here. Workspaces and themes, your colors, application styles, shortcut startup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Splash it all over. Bit of blue. Bluetooth settings and connectivity. Well, everything is there that you're going to need, isn't it, really? As you can see, it's rather sprightly, but then again, I have got quite a lot of RAM in here. Yeah, so to speak. So, applications here, we've got development, education, games. What do we get in games as standard, then? Steam, okay. Alright. Go back to all applications. <clears throat> Steam should run pretty fine, actually, especially if you've got a reasonable graphics card. Bearing in mind, you will need a good power supply, too. Well, under multimedia, what do we got? This is as standard, by the way. I've not installed anything whatsoever. K3B, which is probably the best here. I've all been using K3B for before I was old. Yeah, that's how old. Yeah. 
Well, that's testing of video for Luke's devices. Good. Caden live as standard. Ho, 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 ho. Now, I will be honest with you. I have not used Caden live for a very, 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 very long time. Because in its early days, it was a bit mishy mashy and done the crashing and stuff, you know, and stuff like that. Should we see if it's any different? Actually, it doesn't look much different. Actually, it looks better than it used to. You know what? I'm going to download it on my main system and give that a go later. It's a lot cleaner and not so confluggered, should we say. Mm -mm -mm. I'm liking that already. Okay. I'm learning things as I go. Blimey. What, what do you know? I know, I know. Next applications. We're going to do a couple more and then we're going to come off because I've got lots more stuff to do. But as I did say earlier, this is a quick walkthrough. Okay. We're going to be doing quick walkthroughs and long walkthroughs of all different stuff. Under Office. Right, this is what I really wanted to see. We have a cloud storage manager. Nice. What was LibreOffice, the full client. But we also have Kmail. And Kmail, the theme in anything else there? Let's scroll down. I'm looking for something particular, and I don't think it's here. Ah, Carbon was the one I was looking for. Scalable graphics. I played with this a while ago. <clears throat> and it was quite good, actually. But it's just for doing stuff. You know what I mean? It will get your work done for doing this sort of stuff. Mm -mm -mm. There's a couple there I'm missing that I was expecting, but hey, you can't have every single thing, can you? Okay, what do we have on utilities before we leave? Because it does look like a really nice distribution. If you want to change something and go with art, you're gonna like this. Yeah, yeah you will. Spectacle, capture screen, oh yeah, K Cow, yeah, all the usual K stuff. Mm. Yeah, alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can deal with that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, on the first look, New Manjaro KDE is very, very nice, and I'm not a KDE user, so that's quite, I'm not going to give it any points or anything, because I've not given it a good use yet. So give me the time before we do that, then we can show a few a bit more things to do. Anyway, hey, you like that one? Sneaky Linux going out. I see you later. Bye.